I'm sure you've seen it. A person walking their dog and the leash is so tight that it actually looks like the dog is walking the person. Well, there are things that we can do to train our dogs so that that's not the case, that they're not pulling on the leash. And with me again today, our certified dog trainer, Preston Van Loon, and his companion, Rocky. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good I'm to gonna see you. I'm going to shake your hand, and I'm going to shake Rocky's hand. Shake. 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 boy. Good morning, Rocky. Thanks for being here. Okay, now you said this is a this is an issue when you're training dogs. People frequently, not always, but frequently, will say, "How do I deal with with the uh, leash issue?" What do you What do you tell them? Yep, it's a very common problem. Yeah, and part of the reason why is because dogs haven't been taught to walk with a human by their side when they're in the home. They're off leash and they have the freedom to run and do what they want. If they're outside, there's things they smell and yes. see. They walk faster than we do. They have four legs and we have two. Mm -hmm. So they walk faster than we do. And uh, so they just continue to pull and go and do whatever they want to that way. Well, I would imagine, Preston, that it, it is a dog's nature to want to run. And maybe if you're out for a walk, if you're going at a slower pace, one of the things they want to do is get up and go, don't they? Yes, they do. They, they want to go and, and that's part of their nature. So we have to train them and teach them. Part of the issue is um, why do dogs uh, do this? Mm -hmm. They might have aggression or um, they might uh, not have been trained properly or there could be distractions when they're out there walking. You said something as we were coming out of the commercial break that I found it very interesting and I guess I hadn't paid attention to it before. But even a little bit ahead of you isn't the way you want to walk your dog. You want them to be a companion right next to you. Yep. Ideally, you want the dog to walk right by your side as Rocky is by my side right now. And so when we walk together, we walk at the same pace. I've taught him to walk that way so that he doesn't pull. That doesn't mean that at times he won't pull, but then I'll redirect him. Mm -hmm. How do you go about training a dog to walk the way you want him to? Yep. So what you be do is... Uh, uh, have the dog by your side mm -hmm. and you want to reward him when the leash is loose. Okay. So he's right by your side and then you might begin taking a couple steps and as long as the dog is by your side you would continue to reward him. But if he starts to pull you have to stop right away. If you continue to allow the dog to pull you when you're walking you're basically saying to the dog it's okay to keep pulling me. You're giving into it and you're enabling that walking so you, it's best just to stop. What is the negative part of the dog being, you know, pulling the leash tight? What is, what is the bad side of that? Yeah, the big thing is that the dog is really out of control. Okay. And the dog can also affect uh, your well-being as well. If the dog is pulling you, he can hurt you. And so you want to make sure that the dog is walking with you and that you're walking together. Okay, Rocky is so well trained in so many different areas. How old was he when you started working with him, whether it be leash or whatever it was? Rocky was three months when okay. I started working with him, just doing some basic things. And so if someone has a dog that's uh, just beginning to be trained, mm -hmm. uh, one of the things they can do in the house is just let the dog walk around with the leash. Then at times you can pick up the leash and then just walk with the dog while he's in the house. And then as you're walking in the house with the dog, teach him what's called the watch command. So as you're walking with the dog, you'd say watch. And so you point to your eyes, show him a treat and watch. And so I've got Rocky's focus right okay. there. And then you can continue to walk with him and then have him sit. So once he begins to do well in the house this way, then you carry it outside to your driveway or to your sidewalk. Uh, and then uh, other places, parking lots and parks sure. and so on. Are all dogs trainable or is there an age where they become too uh, habitual in, in the way they walk? They are trainable. Okay. It, it does take time though. And uh, we have this philosophy in rock solid dog training that with proper training, a human can be a dog's best friend. Mm -hmm. So we're really training the human. And it takes a lot of patience because the dog's nature is to want to pull and to uh, just go on their way. They get very excited. And we have to learn to redirect them and train them to walk as we want them to walk. But All they right. are trainable. A leash is not a leash necessarily. And we're going to talk about that next time, right? Yes, we'll be talking about different types of leashes next time and how they impact and affect dog walking. All right. Tell us how we can get a hold of you if people have any other questions or if they'd like to have their dog be behaved as well as Rocky is. Sure. You can reach me at uh, rsdt4u at gmail.com 
or you can call at 701-751-3434. Preston, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, good High to five. see you. High five, Rocky. High five, buddy. High five. Atta boy. All right, coming up, it looks like a soggy weekend. We're going to talk about that in your seven days. Stay with us.